Made man, made man, back at it. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. Look here, man. This guy finished doing my second viewing of the Cotto Canelo fight. And uh, I'm more convinced than ever that Miguel, Co uh, that Miguel Cotto lost that fight. Ain't no change in my actually how I felt about this fight. Ain't no change whatsoever. As a matter of fact, I probably gave it to Canelo by a wider margin now. I mean, I'm sorry. After my second viewing, after being able to really sit in front of the TV and look at it in my quiet little corner, man, I give it to Canelo by an even wider margin. Last night, I gave it to him by one round. I think tonight I'll give it to him by three rounds. This is my opinion. And yes, Kodo fans, yes, motherfuckers, he got exposed. I ain't letting up off no fucking Kodo. I ain't letting up off on one motherfucking bit, him and his diva ass. Fuck no. I love Miguel Kodo. I love what Kodo has done for boxing over the years. But that day is gone. Fucking live with it, folks. Live with it. He fought his heart out. He did the best he can do. I don't want to see a rematch. All right? He did a good job, and don't get me wrong, but he fucking lost, and he lost convincingly. Now, with that out the way, I want to say, I was just sitting here watching this fight, and I was just thinking, who is Canelo Alvarez, basically, at this point, given that retirement of Mayweather, given that Pacquiao's on his way out, there is no other bigger star in boxing. Is Canelo Alvarez the new golden boy of boxing? And I know people may say, oh, what the fuck? I mean, I'm thinking that something bigger happened last night. Not just, oh, he beat Miguel Cotto and took the belt or, or, or won the WBC 160-pound belt. No, more happened, ladies and gentlemen. Canelo has officially became boxing's golden boy. Give me another fighter who's going to sell more units at this point than Canelo Alvarez, especially at the 160-pound division. The biggest fight in boxing today possibly would be Canelo and Triple G on pay-per-view. And that's taken into, a, into account Mayweather being retired. Him and the Pacquiao fight ain't being fucking talked about seriously. So we're not even talking about that no more. So that's taking that stuff into account. I don't see any other fight in boxing that's bigger. And at this point, Canelo Alvarez is now in the fucking ultimate A-side. He also holds the WBC 160 title. I repeat, the WBC 160 title. That's a hell of a bargaining chip. That solidifies his position. He is now boxing's golden boy who fights for golden boy. You know, I mean, that's just exactly what's going on. Who else is a bigger draw? It's going to be interesting to see how Canelo approaches this 160 pound division. Hopefully we won't get a Cotto like response. All these motherfuckers got to fight at 154, 154 and a half or 155. You know, no, it'll be interesting to see if some of these fights occur at 160 especially given that Canelo Alvarez came in last night's fight, I don't know, what, 180 pounds? He looked like a light heavyweight in that motherfucker last night. So don't give me that shit why he can't fight at 160. There's no reason why him and Triple G shouldn't get it in at 160, or him and anyone else from the middleweight division shouldn't get it in at 160. No reason. Now, I don't know if Triple G will maybe settle with Canelo and say, hey, make it at 158. or." Four. But if you're going to fight that close, just fight for the full fucking 160. I mean, come on, give me a fucking break. That ain't going to make or break nobody. One or two fucking pounds, no. So, Canelo, man, I'm sorry, y'all. I think he, at this point, is the golden boy of boxing. I can't think of an opponent for Mayweather outside of Pacquiao that will do astronomical numbers i don't think none of the young gunners would do it with them uh you know whether it's thurman the porters the brooks the cons i think they'll have respectable numbers record breaking no and how many fights does mayweather truly have left possibly one same for manny pacquiao who can pacquiao pick 
that will outdo Canelo and Triple G. Who can Pacquiao pick? I can't think of nobody. Terrence Crawford, no. Timothy Bradley, no. Marquez Five, no. I don't think so. I truly don't. I'm not going to be the one that compared Pacquiao's last numbers because I know they wasn't that good. But look who his opposition was. Chris Alfucking Jerry, Brandon Rios, Mayweather, of course, you know what they did. You know, I mean, those are not fighters. He fought, what, Bradley in the second fight. It didn't do astronomical numbers. So, I mean, there's no other bigger draw, I don't think, in the sport right now outside of Canelo. And that's if Mayweather comes out of retirement. got to give him his props. This kid is getting better and better every fight. I say it after every Canelo fight. After every post-fight vid, after every prediction vid for Canelo, it's always me saying Canelo is getting better with every fight. He's getting better with every fight. And another thing that I'm impressed with, and this could be attributed to the fact that he's young, is the fact that this motherfucker can lose all his weight Put it back on and still be chiseled, strong. He came in weighing in at 155. There's no fucking way in hell he was weighing 155 in the ring last night. He looked well over 170. Well over 170, ladies and gentlemen. So even at the bigger weights, he's still fast. He's still crisp. He's still sharp. By piling on all that weight overnight, I don't know how long he can do it. I'm pretty sure the older he gets, the harder it will get. Maybe they want to think about getting out of that habit, I guess, soon. But it's working for him right now because he's coming in all his fights big as a motherfucker. But the dude is the new golden boy, y'all. And y'all got to just accept it. For all the Canelo haters out there, you got to accept it. He is the new golden boy of boxing. No matter who he fights at this point on down, he will be A-side. He will definitely be a side. Triple G want to step up. He, you got to Canelo's going to be a side. He's going to call the shots. No matter who he fights at 160 for that matter. Lemieux, whoever. Canelo calls the shots. A lot of the Heyman fighters will be off limits. That that the politics of boxing still exists. Given that uh, uh, Canelo fights with Golden Boy and Oscar. Quillen and Jacobs and all those guys over there with Heyman. We won't get a Quillen Canelo fight. I would love to see that fight, man. Oh, man. But the fact still remains, man. Give me somebody who's a bigger draw. Canelo's the new golden boy. Like it or not, live with it. To the next video, main man, main man. Don't forget to subscribe. Twitter, main man, 511. Facebook, main man, main man. Boxing form. He's the bigger draw, y'all. There's no question. There's no one else. He's the new golden boy. He gets to call the fucking shots. He fought his ass off to get here. Look at the succession of fighters he fought he left in his path. He's only got one loss, and that's to Mayweather. But he beat Angulo. He beat Laura. He beat he beat Cotto. He beat Cotto's little brother, Jose Cotto. He beat Mosley. He beat Trout. Those are some very respectable names, ladies and gentlemen. And just think, he's only 25. He has a long way to go. To the next video. Peace out. Made man, made man.